So we really got Chinese troops delivering tanks. And the rumor is they're putting us on the border to get ready for some kind of recursion of Taiwan. Even the Chinese citizens is reacting pretty bad to this, saying war is coming. Interesting. They had the streets shut down for a while too as they delivered these tanks. I had a lot of people ask me to post this video, but I'm gonna keep my eyes on everything that's going on over there. Anyways, let's continue on with the news. So the United States reports that there was a Russian chopper that landed in North Carolina. Suspicious men had ran into the woods, triggering chaos. Yeah, a Russian-made transport helicopter unexpectedly landed in North Carolina in the United States on the evening of August 12th, raising concern and speculation among the locals who expressed fear of a potential terrorist threat. This was a MI-171E1, a variant of a Soviet-designed military transport and gunship helicopter. They said this helicopter lacked identifying markings and unloaded at least seven men equipped with backpacks, and they disappeared in the nearby woods. Man, that is insane. So we don't know who these dudes are or what they're here for. That's pretty crazy. We have Dugan saying that a war between NATO and Russia is now dangerously close and that they might already be at war and that it concerns him because it's an undeclared war, so it's a war they're trying to keep under wraps. He also said the implications are profound and far-reaching, potentially endangering all of humanity, he warned, and this could have catastrophic global consequences. Yeah, no shit, this is what I've been warning of for years. We have a war police in Colorado watching locally for the so-called global protests over Venezuela elections. I don't think gangs are a big safety concern in the city of Aurora, they say. Even though they took over an apartment complex, come on, whatever. We have China threatening to snatch areas on the Indian border and in the Indo-Pacific, saying they're going to be using PLA-backed civilian soldiers. That's why they're modernizing its armed forces for the use in the Indo-Pacific region. Crazy times, but anyways, more news next.